So the health tip for today is a continuation actually of yesterday's tip on organic food. Let's look a little bit more in depth into this topic of organic food, okay? Because you know, we go to the grocery store and let's say we've got a pineapple. Now, pineapple is quite a large fruit and strangely enough, the pineapple is probably one of the most chemical laden fruits that there is. And the reason is that there are a number of bugs that like to attack pineapples where they're grown in various tropical countries and so a lot of pesticides are sprayed on pineapples. You can buy organic pineapples but they are very expensive. Unfortunately because of the way the pineapple is structured with all these little you know, grooves and, and valleys on the outside the, the chemicals tend to penetrate into the fruit of the pineapple to some extent. So let's uh, look at some other types of fruits. Let's look at uh, the good old tomato. Um, most of the tomatoes, fortunately, are grown in greenhouses these days. Um, and you get non-greenhouse tomatoes, field tomatoes in the fall, uh, primarily that may be somewhat chemically laden, but most of the hothouse fruit and vegetables is not laden with chemicals. So even though you may get non-organic cucumbers, for instance, they're a lot healthier than um, fruit grown in the fields that has to be sprayed. So let's have a look very quickly at something called coffee. Now a lot of people think coffee is bad for us and maybe it is in larger amounts. People that drink eight or ten cups a day are probably creating some major challenges. But coffee too can be organic. And what does that mean? Well, it simply means the way it's grown. It's grown without chemicals and without chemical fertilizers, natural fertilizers in a much uh, different environment. And because the coffee bean actually concentrates these poisons in itself, it's really important to actually, if you drink coffee, to drink organic coffee. And it is not that much more expensive than regular coffee and it will have a significant effect on your health if you drink organic coffee as opposed to the non-organic. One of the other things about organic food is that the human body has this crazy ability to concentrate toxins and poisons that we take into our system. So a lot of people say, well, what does it really matter if I eat organic? Who cares? It's just food. But we're talking about accumulation of toxins and poisons that will occur over a period of years and years. And the one thing that a lot of people never ever connect is the dot that says, how did I get sick? Okay, one day they wake up with a tumor and they go, how did I get sick? But it's their whole life accumulation of the toxins and poisons that actually made them sick. And if they, if they had lived their life differently and perhaps taken care over a period of years, they may very well have re regained and maintained their health as opposed to getting sick and going the other way. So, Dr. Anderson, uh, we have just uh, summarized the attributes of this wonderful bioceramic Sara water technology in that it gives us six times the hydration of any tap or bottled water, removes free radical damage from the human body, and is actually reversing the acidity of the human body. We need to be alkaline. And those are the three primary things that are causing a vast majority of the disease processes and challenges that people are facing today. Such as? Such as uh, upper, resp upper respiratory problems. Um, we've got a, you know, an epidemic of asthma and all kinds of challenges with the upper respiratory system. Upper digestive tract. I mean, there's an epidemic literally of, of taking pills for indigestion. You see commercials on television every day. Um, constipation. Um, arthritis, chronic fatigue, um, pain, insomnia, I mean, those are the things that are bothering people and they are all related to what you just said, dehydration, uh, problems with the body being too acidic and free radical damage. Tell me about tiredness. People are fatigued. I run into people all the time and they say, oh, I'm just getting older, I'm, I'm in pain and I'm fatigued. Can you address how this Absolutely. water can help? Toxicity. Okay, the nervous system not functioning properly and the body not being able to access energy from the food. Once again, digestive, nervous system, those are all challenges due to over acidity, free radicals, and not enough water. When we don't have enough water or we're not drinking the right kind of water, we get dehydrated. It's, it's a very simple concept. Tell me about gout. Gout is an acidic condition. It is well known that gout is uric acid, that's the, the primary word, acid 
that gets into the joints and causes that inflammation. And when you have an over acid situation, you can correct that by drinking this water. And I've seen it time after time after time. And it's usually within two or three days. There's a complete relief of the gout and it doesn't return because the person stays on this water and keeps their system alkaline. Okay, and same thing with arthritic pain, I would? Most arthritic pain is inflammatory. It's due to uh, inflammation in the joints of various sorts. There are many, many different causes, but most of that is hooked up to over acidity and free radical damage. So drinking this bioceramic water, which is actually transformed this water into, I'm just going to call it magic water, because I think it's just a miracle what this uh, water can do for people, uh, is something that is so affordable and available for everybody. Why wouldn't we want to get one of these wonderful bioceramic Oh, I say to people, I say to people, you mean you're not drinking alkaline water? What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Dr. Anderson. Cheers.